Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's J. Dr. Gemma. We back again after a month with the Moto Z Play. And we're going to do a little bit of a what's on my Moto Z Play. How is it doing, you know, a month later? Um, and yeah, so literally what's on my Moto Z Play is this um, little bumper case. It was like $5.99 on Amazon. It's actually for the Moto Z Force. But um, as you can see, it fits perfectly on the Moto Z Play, and it was five ninety nine. So that is what we're running with. It protects my phone when it drops, and that is really all you need to know. Also, gives me a little bit more grip as well. Um, if we can get back into focus, I'm going to show you the carbon fiber D Brands skin I got all the way from America on my Moto Z Play. This is also. Um, manufactured for the Moto Z Force, but as I said, I think they're all roughly the same size, so it fits on my Moto Z Play. So um, yeah, that's all cool. Gives me a bit more texture and grip when I'm holding the phone, and it just just looks a bit different, you know. It's a bit eye catching seeing a red phone kind of thing. Um, yeah, it looks cool. Um, you got the ambient display there as well. I don't think I've ever mentioned this in any of my previous Moto Z videos. But um, once that screen goes off, if you just hover your hand over the screen, um, it will ignore you the first time, but then it will bring up the notifications just at a glance like that. So that's kind of cool. I've been using that, you know, when it's on the desk next to me. Um, it means you don't have to really pick up the phone. Um, it can obviously come on if there's any, like, shadow or light change in the room, so it's a bit annoying as well. I um, might want to hide those notifications if your girlfriend's around. <laughs> um, but, yeah, apart from that, it's actually quite cool. Um, as you can see, the fingerprint sensor is still doing its job. Uh, there you go. Let's do that again. Three, two, one. It also turns off the device. Uh, three, two, one. And there we go. So let me show you a couple of apps and, you know, what I've got running on the Moto Z Play at the moment. Now, we still got that Google Pixel launcher because it's just it's simple. I mean, the launch that already came with the Motorola was basically stock, but you know, I thought this this whole slide up to get your apps thing looked quite cool. And plus, you get five spaces now to drop your icons. So, um, you know, that's never a bad thing. You got a little Google sign up there. Um, I haven't got any Google now, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really use Google now that much, and I'm not really missing it. So, um. Yeah, Google now, I can't really get it unless I root the phone or get a Google Pixel, which I cannot afford. So it looks like rooting the phone or just living with it is going to be my only options. So um, yeah, Google Pixel launcher is all cool and it's nice and snappy as you can see. And it's also got this little wallpaper thing. I've already showed you this, guys, but I'll show you it to you again quickly. Got millions of wallpapers there that you can choose from. And you can set it to a setting that makes it, you know, change every day right up here. So um, my wallpaper changes every day kind of thing. And it's got at least 30 wallpapers in there. So you've got at least a wallpaper for each day in a month. And I think it updates as well. So um, lots and lots of wallpapers there. Anyway, apps. Um, let's see what we've got. What's the important app? Oh, we've got Allo. Allo is just dope. Like, um, you can just, it's just, you can type and then you can shout or you can whisper or you can, you can send, what are these called? Like, these things here. Um, yeah, it's just dope, guys. Just just get on it. Don't really ask me questions. Just get on it. It's cool. Um, we've got Ampere. So you can see if you're fast charging or not. Um, I've used that for quite a lot of my fast charging videos. When I'm trying to see how good a charger is. Um, obviously, um, standard Amazon app. Um, we've got a blue light filter. Now, what this app does is, I don't know if my eyes are really... Um, sensitive to um, light or anything, but when it's nighttime and I've got my bright phone in my face, <laughs> my eyes are just like dying out here. So what you got is this little notification which lets you, you know, dim the screen um, brightness really quickly. I mean, I don't, you could use automatic brightness as well, but this goes beyond automatic brightness. So um, it's quite cool. Um, Blue light filter. Check that on the App Store. I'll put the link in the description below. If you need, or I'll tell you what, if you need the link, just let me know and I'll drop it. Um, apart from that, we've well, got Chrome here, obviously. Um, you can see I've got two camera apps. The main reason for that is that the Motorola camera app, the stock one, it lets me down quite a lot. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about now. Hopefully it's not going to try and play up. Um, you try and take a picture real quick. And I feel like there's, there's just too much lag. Well, okay, that it's doing all right right now. 
Um, let me put the auto HDR on. And, you know, can you see that? There's a bit of, there's a bit of, you know, one, two, three. There's quite a bit of lag with this auto HDR option. I'm, I'll put the HDR to just automatically on. I get even more lag. And this wasn't the case with the OnePlus 3, even when I had it on, you know, auto HDR. Um, obviously, the OnePlus 3 is a lot quicker. Um, and that's one of the main gripes I've ever had with this phone is the camera, you know, as I do a little YouTube, I noticed that the shutter is quite slow. I haven't really got a problem with the video quality, but yeah, the shutter is quite slow and it's unreliable. It's caused me to miss quite a few moments. Um... So what I've done is I've looked for a couple other cameras. Um, the only camera I've seen at the moment seems to be the Google camera, um, which is stock for like all Nexus devices. But as you can see, there's literally no shutter lag and it just does the job. There's no, um, you know, really advanced features on here. I mean, it's on HDR mode and it's still taking quick pictures. But um, there's no like automatic... Um, burst shot mode kind of thing on this. I can't, well, I, see, I can't see how to get it working anyway. But um, yeah, you got that. But obviously on this camera, the video option does not work and it usually just crashes my phone. <laughs> it gives me a little error like that. So there's little compromises with the Google camera. But um, if you want to get just a quick snap in, then I would always suggest to use that over the stock Motorola um, camera app. Uh, what else have we got going on down here? Got Discord, it's a little chat for gamers kind of thing. Um, you got your Google Drive, got Duo, which is quite a cool little FaceTime video, whatever it called, video calling app. Um, it's not, the servers are not as good as IMO, if you've used that app as well, but um, it's quite decent. It's Google, so I'm trying to support it for now. Maybe they'll get better in the future. You got Flipboard. I use Flipboard for all my tech news. Um, you should use it too. You just literally put in, you know, what you like. So I like HTC, smartphones and stuff like that. And it literally just gives you stuff that you're interested in. So it's got Uncharted game stuff there, um, Xbox S. It's got all this kind of stuff, all these kind of gadgets. And this is where I get all my tech from, guys. I'm not even going to lie. Um, bendy phone coming back. Note 7, bendable phone. You know, you got it all here and it comes out before you usually see it anywhere else. So it just it just gathers news for you and puts it into one simple place for you to read. Um, obviously, Instagram as well. You, well, you know what Instagram is. I don't really need to show you that. I've got people twerking on my Instagram as always. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, in the world of Instagram, twerking and Nintendo and Spraygrounds and Techno Buffalo, OnePlus technology. You've got all that kind of stuff right there. Um, what else have we got going on down here? You've got Meerkat Movies. You've got Miitomo. It's some weird Nintendo app. And Oh, it's going to take a while to load now. Let me try to pause the video while it loads. There we go. Okay, so I'm not really sure what this app does exactly. Um, all I know is it's using my Mii or my Wii from the Nintendo 3DS. I seem to be inside some sort of electronic device. Okay. Oh, hello there. I am you. At least that's what I think. My name is Jay John OTV HD. Right, you've said enough. <laughs> so yeah, that's quite cool. Um, apparently you can use that app with your friends and they'll get it as well. And you know, you can share stuff. Um, have I got time to show you some games? What time is it? Eight minutes recording. Let me show you some of my best games as well. Wait, let me show you this app real quick. Um, this is like a soundboard for quite a lot of popular video games. Um, and you can set each of the individual sounds to a specific contact. So, um, I mean, what? let's get like this sounds. I can set that to someone. I can set the Game Boy to someone. Game Boy Advance. There was a couple of Mario ones I had in here as well. Um, oh, we've got Metal Gear Solid Alert. You know, you can set that to um, specific contacts and that's quite cool for me, at least. Um, you guys might just think it's ultra geeky. Probably stopped watching the video by now, but I thought I'd show you guys regardless. Um, obviously, YouTube, WhatsApp. Anyway, let me show you some of one of these games now, which I think is quite dope. It's called Leo's Fortune. The graphics are actually quite decent. Um, are we going to get to play it right now? There we go. It's just a little side-scrolling game, but the graphics look really good. Can we, can we get it going? Can we get it going? There we go. Yep, let's do that level. That looks cool. Would I like to see the... Nah. Tutorials? Nah, I don't need that. Okay, let me show you this now. There we go. Look at those graphics, guys. That, 
and then you jump and okay there's not much to this game i understand you're like why are you showing why am i showing you this game i think there's quite a lot to it you know you gotta get the coins you gotta slide slide right into the dms up the dms you got a mustache you know this guy's got his november going guys don't don't judge me for this don't judge me look look you oh look oh yeah, yeah. don't go down there oh yeah, you see what i mean there's danger in this game guys who doesn't like a bit of danger every now and again you know yes danger okay i don't think i can sell this game to anyone but um <laughs> check it it's called leah's fortune um the graphics look quite cool um, and I've never really gotten any further than this first level because it's never really kept me interested. Um, but yeah, that's that, guys. Um, what's on my Moto Z Play one month later? Thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, subscribe and like if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, let me know what's on your Moto Z Play or if you've got any games or any apps you can suggest for me, just drop it in the comment section below. But like I said, thanks for watching. Leave a comment and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Jay Jemmel out.